Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to remove and replace serpentine belt on Mazda CX-7. We are doing engine replacement here. You can see it's a huge mess at the shop guys. You can see that one here as well, two Mazda CX-7s and that's the engine out of it. So if you need the belt diagram or see how to remove and replace the belt, we decided to show you now since we have the room to do it. Otherwise, if the engine is in the engine compartment, it's almost impossible to get a good shot. So stay with us guys and let's uh, go ahead and remove the belt, show you how to remove it, how to replace it. It will be the same procedure when it's in the vehicle, but it's easier for us to show you now. And you'll be able to see the belt diagram now. So what we need is a 14 millimeter wrench or, or a, a socket guys. And this one is the tensioner pull. So if you go clockwise now, okay, you're going to release the pressure of the belt. So now you can go ahead and pull it out. Okay, and you can see, okay, I got from the power steering pump, but the easier one probably will be the alternator. It's all as easy to reach in the car with the alternator. So, okay, so you can see, that's how you guys remove it. So when you're ready to install it guys, okay, we're going to start with the crankshaft pulley now. We're going to go to the AC compressor. After that, we'll go to uh, power steering pump, okay, right here. Oh, actually the water pump right there. And then we go to the power steering pump, okay, and it's going everywhere, it's pretty long belt. Okay, and the only thing that we have left, you need to make sure that it goes in all the grooves. Okay, especially right here, we came out. Okay, and now it, it came out again. So, yeah, it's not as easy. That's why we prefer to show you guys when it's out of the vehicle. So you can see what you need to do. Now you go clockwise again. Okay, until you relieve all the pressure now. And somewhere we are not lining up good enough because it's still it's still a little bit tight okay so we decided to leave the power steering pump for last because it will be easier to do in the car and the new belt is pretty tight fit guys okay it went in all the grooves now it's the time to check that everything is lining up so that way you know that it's going to stay there otherwise if it's not lining up you're going to start the car and you will throw a belt. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, be part of this channel. Let's grow it together and see you next time.